This is the crustless quiche that we will be making today. Um, it's really simple, really easy, and it's really, really low in points. Um, it's one of the recipes that you will find on your app also. Hello. It got teaspoon, <laughs> mm, teaspoon, egg, mm, and then fold the pepper, and fold the Okay, so today we're going to be making a crustless quiche. Um, <laughs> we have 150 ml of skimmed milk, some tomato puree, we've got, as she said, frozen peppers, frozen onions, because mama's a cheapskate. We have some um, vine ripened tomatoes, 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 um, six eggs. We are using um, like a cake tin that will be lined with parchment paper. There was 25 grams of cheese. Is there still 25 grams of cheese? Yeah. Are you telling me lies? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we're using a bowl. So we'll go through the process as normal and um, let's make this crustless quiche. Okay, so I've put the frozen onions and frozen peppers into a frying pan just to kind of obviously fry them off. Um, if you know me, then my cooking styles is a bung it in, so there's not like an exact measurement for me. <laughs> I'm not very good at that. Um, I've also got us down here at about, uh, about 170 um, as preheat in the oven. I'm gonna crack the egg. I'm gonna crack the eggs. Now, how do you crack your eggs? Into the bowl, don't. Right, if you crack two egg, bang two eggs together, only one egg will ever break. So I'm going to rescue this egg, um, <laughs> all six eggs and into the bowl. Eight, right, what so are we going to do with it now? Right, so hold on to the bowl, that's it. Whisk all the eggs together and then we're going to add some more ingredients. Right, so Olivia's now going to add in the tomato puree. So it's one tablespoon. This is a dessert spoon, but you know, we can squeeze a bit more in. Right, plop it in. That's it, quickly, good girl. Now grab the cheese and then add in the cheese. Olivia, can you add in the cheese please, Denon? Good girl, thank you. All of it in and the, yeah, that's it. And now the milk, you want to add in the milk please? Hang on. Oh, hang on, sorry. Chefs at work, I do apologise. Two hands maybe, that's it. Pour all the milk in. That's it, good girl. Well done. That's it. Now slowly whisk it all together. Hold on to the bowl again, remember? Hold on to the bowl and give it a whisk round, okay? Gentle, gentle. Okay. So these are frying away. Now what I've done is I've chopped half of the vine tomatoes and left the other half on the actual vine. Just, there we go. So Make sure it's stir all these round and then we're going to add this to the milky mixture in a wee moment. Right, so that is the mixture has now been added um, into the milk mixture. So that's everything, all the ingredients in the bowl. I am now going to line my cake tin with the parchment paper. Um, sorry, I'm loaded with a cold. <laughs> and pour it in and then what I'm going to do is place it in the oven. So I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, so this is it now in um, the cake tin. I did not cut this to size. I overcut and then just trimmed off the edges. It says bake for 25 minutes. I'm not going to lie, it does take longer than that. There is no way it takes 25 minutes. Um, but once it's pretty much cooked, then just for the last sort of five, 10 minutes, you can add this onto the top of it and bake those also. Um, so I'm going to pop it in the oven to snow and then when it's all done and once these wee bits have been done, um, I'll take a wee video of it um, and show you what it looks like at the end. So this has been in for over half an hour now. I'm just going to pop this on the top and pop it back in the oven again for another maybe five, five, ten minutes and that's it all done.